the Tommy Whittle handicap chase is next another three miler it's 0 to 140 this time though and window rock lovers at the top for Vinnie Gerard Hamley Darren Thompson smell of victory Leon Van Rensburg intrigue Cheney David Robertson Strangers Call and Poke Salalani for Martin Little Movie Queen David Hurley Silent Voices Graham Clutterbuck Philly Eagle Matt Cooper Unix Picasso Alex Cherry Nina Di Maguro for Padraig Hogan Rhythmic Room Alex Cherry and Vanishing for Paul Parsons a field of 13 and the Tommy Whittle at Haydock. Called in and away. And pokes at Annie. Has gone straight off into the lane. She likes the front run. And she's already gone two or three clear. Managed to get a win earlier in the season by going out in the lead over three miles and staying there. Well, I got a little bit excited for a while after that victory and then I realised that I don't know there's a novice and she can't run in all the big races anyway they get to the first of the 18 and there's a faller there it's intrigue Chenet that's gone to be honest she's not done that well since anyway so maybe it was a flash in the pan they get to the second and that on its nose was the grey vanishing but it's Pokes on Annie who's setting the strong pace as usual stable companion strangers call cool. wide on the track is second in the Alex Cherry Pear are next. And over that one, there's about seven of them now in a line for second. So, Pokes and Annie clear by eight. In a line of seven of them. Disputing second down this near side. I think that's either Rhythmic Room or Unix, but Casso, they get over the fourth. Vanishing is just getting a little bit detached at the back, so they're obviously going a bit quick for that one, but there's a long way to go yet. They get into this ditch and Pokes and Annie gets over it in the lead from Habley who's now just second then Unix Picasso down on this inside he's third the purple jacket of Movie Queen behind that one oh, two of them wider on the track will lose a bit of ground on this turn possibly not that much it's not that sharp a turn I don't think and um, Pokes on Annie Jockey just keeping a bit of a grip on her not letting her get too far in front leads by five lengths or so to Habley in second Unix Picasso is third then Movie Queen down on this near side is fourth. Whatever right on the far side, Strangers Call is next. Then Nina Di Maguro and Rhythmic Rumours. They take the next where the leader was a little bit ponderous. And Vanishing has now made up that ground, which makes you think that they must have slowed the pace down just a little bit. And they're all safely over the next with Window Rock Lover and Smell of Victory now the back pair. But Pugs on Annie he is clear in the lead. About four lengths to Habley as they get to this next one. Strangers call on the outside and then Unix Picasso, Movie Queen is nicely placed as well. Silent Voices and Nina Di Maguro getting a little bit closer as they take this plain one and the leader jumped it well that time. From Unix Picasso is only just second as they come past the stand. Another circuit of the track ahead of them. And Pokes and Annie passes the winning post in the lead by about five lengths. The line of three then, Movie Queen Hamlet and Strangers Call with wider still silent voices. Unix Picasso trying to force his way into that line as well. Then the Grey Vanishing who's made good ground. Nina Di Maguro and Rhythmic Rumor next. Then Philly Eagle is wide on the track in the red. And the back two, the blue, a smell of victory and the two shades of green for Window Rock Lover. Just the back marker. Pokes on Annie continuing to lead, but only by about three and a half lengths now to Movie Queen in second. Strangers Call is third as we get a change of angle. Let's see across the track there, you see that big pond as the rain continues to fall. They get over the tenth. Pokes on Annie in the lead from Movie Queen and Strangers Call, then Silent Voices, Habily, and you next, Picasso. Over the eleventh they go. Safely over that as well. Nina Di Maguro has now just been relegated to back spot. They're coming down towards the final mile now. And Pokes and Annie's led all the way so far. Skips over the 12th. We're on Strangers Call and Silent Voices. Then Unix Picasso and Movie Queen. Habily is next. Then the Grey Vanishing Smell of Victory is creeping closer up the inside. As they head down towards the next. Pokes and Annie continuing to lead by about three or so to stable mate strangers call just second head of silent voices then Unix Picasso and Habily movie queen as they get over that ditch 
And the lead is now down to a little more than two, with Silent Voices into second. You next, Picasso third. Strangers Call is next. Movie Queen still sticking to the fence on the inside as they begin to take this sharp bend, and then they'll turn into the long straight and poke Silent Alley. He's still two clear off Silent Voices in second. You next, Picasso third. Then Hubble in Strangers Call. Movie Queen under a bit of pressure. Smell of victories looking for racing room. Vanishing is trying to be pulled wide, so is Rhythmic Room and Philly Eagle. They head down towards the final four and it's Poke Salonani in the lead but now Hubbley comes out to challenge this is the fourth last over it they go Poke Salonani only led by half a length now and here comes Smell of Victory who's got a clear run it's Poke Salonani from Smell of Victory Hubbley and Rhythmic Rune over that final ditch they go and Smell of Victory jumps into the lead it's Smell of Victory suddenly on two clear from Hubbley and Poke Salonani Smell of Victory then has quickly now gone three or four clear window rock lover is running on well from the back there's still a couple to get over it's Smell of Victory lands over it in the lead from in second place now Silent Voices Pokes and Annie's trying to fight back Window Rock Lover is next then comes Movie Queen they're heading down towards the final fence and suddenly Smell of Victory starting to tire Silent Voices jumps into the lead it's Silent Voices into the final furlong Silent Voices from Movie Queen Pokes and Annie on the inside but it's Silent Voices needs a line to come Movie Queen's getting closer Movie Queen starting to get up and Movie Queen is going to take it Movie Queen wins it Silent Voices second in Smell of Victory Pokes and Annie Window Rock Lover Nina de Maguro and all the way back to Strangers Call. He was last. And well, we had three winners there, didn't we? Over the coin to the last. It looked like Ligon's horse was going to win. Then it looked like Gray's horse was going to win. And in the end, it was David Hooley's movie Queen who went past all of them to take it. Silent Voices second for Graham Clitterbuck. Smell of Victory third for Leon Van Rensburg. Pope Santanani for Martin Little was fourth. And Window Rock Lover for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.